Yeah, no, that makes sense. The best analogy that I could use is if you've ever had like a paper cut on your finger or even like a small nick on your finger, you put a Band-Aid on it and it's not bleeding drastically, but you put that Band-Aid on and it's going to alter how you use that finger, right? You wash the dishes, you leave it out, you reach in your pocket, you kind of stick it out. It's just, it's a weird feeling just because you put a Band-Aid on your finger, right? The same thing goes with movement. If we have this tightness restricted feeling like you're feeling, and even dare we say how we view our movement, if you feel like you have this tightness, not only in that tissue, but that's gonna go up and down the chain and alter or compensate where we're using the tissue, the joints, everything else up and down that chain, right? So that's how we're gonna utilize our muscular therapy to decrease that, that perceived threat, kind of make a painful thing less painful, which is obviously the good thing, that's what, you're, that's what we're talking about, right? But also, and where I'm really excited is using the corrective exercises, the at-home strategies, and decreasing that perceived threat through evidence of safety. The more we can go through similar yet non-painful movements, the more safe uh, feeling we're gonna get through this hamstring in your case, where we're gonna have less tightness, less tautness, less spasm or rigidity, and more access to range of motion. Does that make sense?